So in the previous classes, uh, what we have discussed is basically uh, there is a, a new data type. We call these things as a pointer. So pointer is basically uh, uh, basically holding a type which, uh, which is called address. So a pointer may be uh, different characteristics. It is either an integer pointer, float pointer, or any primitive data type. We uh, always have a pointer. And we also discussed that how the pointer, we, uh, how can we define a pointer? How can we uh, use the pointer for uh, referencing and the dereferencing of the uh, element? Okay. So there are three operations. Uh, the first is the index operation, which is which is applicable. There is an index operation which are applicable on the array. And then we also understand what is the uh, reference point referencing operation and what is the dereferencing operation. Now uh, we'll talk about the arithmetic on the pointer values here. Uh, so let let we have a uh, definition of a pointer. So uh, let we have the definition something like this integer uh, a and there is an integer pointer ip and we have the assignment ip which is holding the address of a. So in my memory this will look something like this. So there is a variable which name is a and this variable is uh, storing or the, it is basically starting from a address say five three seven six eight something like this okay and then there is an, another variable uh, ip and this variable is a type of integer this variable is a type of integer pointer Okay. And now what is that? What is the third statement does? The third statement says that this pointer is holding the address of the element A. So now I am having uh, assigned the 3, 5, 7, 6, 8. And now there is a dereference. The pointer is making the pointing to a element A. So this is basically, this is the configuration when we have the three statement in our C programming language. Okay. So now uh, we, we understand that what is the meaning of this uh, referencing, what is the meaning of say there is an another integer D which is star of IP. So this is the D referencing etc etc. So now this operation as an offset operation and the symbol for this offset operation is uh, either a plus or a minus so minus offset is basically moving uh, in the uh, in the negation side and the plus offset is moving to the positive side okay. so what is the meaning of this offset operation it is basically a binary operation and it takes one argument, one as a pointer and the second argument, the uh, another argument or the and the second as offset value. So the so what it means if I if I perform say IP equals to IP plus one. So what is the meaning of these things? The meaning of this thing is that 
uh, this IP, the value of IP is uh, something 53768. The value of the IP is 53786. Uh, now, what is the meaning of IP plus one? Does it mean that it, we increment the value by one? So, does it imply that IP is now uh, taking the value of 536, uh, sorry, 768 plus one? Does it mean that we increment the value by one? Something like this. No, sir. It will uh, it will return five three seven seven two. Uh, five six seven. Uh, it will return. It will be seven two. Yeah. So, so what is the one? So. So what is the meaning of? Uh, what is the meaning of this uh, this offset operation? So mean it means that the value will be updated. Okay. The value will be updated. One minute, I make it. Yes, I know. Okay. The value will be updated to some uh, some offset, and this offset is basically determines the size of this element so now this pointer is pointing to an integer here and then the offset of one means the value will be pointing to the next next element understand and how 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 far the offset will be increased that determines by the that will be determined by the size of this integer if the size of this integer is four byte then uh, offset of one is basically increments the pointer value by four. Understand? If the size of this integer is two, then the offset value is basically an increment of two. Okay. Understand this point? Am I audible? What is happening? Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh. Understood. So so the meaning of this offset means if there is an pointer, sorry. So there is a pointer, then we have an offset operation, and there is a uh, unit of offset. Unit of offset. Okay. So this unit of offset will be determined by the size size of the type to which the pointer is pointing okay. so uh, by uh, in general if it is if it is integer then it will be a four if it is character then how much how, how what is the unit of offset what is the size of this character in c programming language I think two. No, it is one. S one. S given. S So this is one. Okay. So so now if we if we just change the scenarios like character, say C H, then I have a character point uh, C P, and we have C P, which is assigned by a character. Okay. And now C P plus one. So what is the update? Means how far it will update? It will update by a value of one. So, so uh, the simple meaning of <coughs> this uh, class of the minus operation, we also have the uh, similar implication for the uh, negation of offset. So plus or minus, when we, we operate these things with a pointer, then we do not call, consider these things as an addition or the subtraction. We consider this operation as an offset. Understand? And keep in mind that this offset value will be uh, the unit of offset value depends on the size of the uh, element to which the pointer is pointing. If it is pointing to a type of integer, then uh, the offset unit is basically the size of the integer. Understand? Or if it is pointing to the float, 
then the offset value is basically the size of the float. Okay, and then we we are basically uh, it is it is clear that sorry. So so it is clear that the operator operator plus or minus or minus. Uh, is basically the right hand side operator the right side operand is an offset and this offset is basically a integer or constant or maybe a integer but the uh, that that uh, basically says the unit of this offset value. So if I write uh, something like this, say IP uh, plus two into X, this is also value where X is an integer. Understand? So IP equals to two into X, this statement, it says that the left side is an pointer type the right side is an integer type integer type and this integer type does not implies that i want to make an addition operation this integer type uh, indicates that i want to make an offset operation so what is the offset the offset will be 2 into the integer value of the x so if x holds a value of uh, say 2 then we are basically performing uh, offset ip is equals to 4 Understand? Get it? Is that clear? Yes, sir. Okay. So now let us take a simple example. Uh, say I have an array. Say integer array we have 10 elements let 3 4 7 9 11 how many are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 12 30 mm, so 4 4 41 and 3 okay. and we have defined an integer ID and this is initialized with the array okay and let the starting address array its base address so this is five three seven six zero zero so so we have in the memory an integer array its base address is five six is five three seven six double zero and some elements are arranged accordingly so this is three this is four seven something like this okay and we have an another integer i which is equals to zero so now if i if i am writing that say uh, integer x which is uh, i b plus say 3 then what is the what is the uh, sorry integer it is not integer say let i am writing ip is equals to ip3 then what what does it mean so what what will be the value of this ip so this is the element 0 means offset 0 offset 1 because so this is offset 1 Two and three. So what what will be the value of this IP? So it will pointing here. Understand? At twelve. So I can compute. Say three into four. Considering four is the size of this integer, so twelve, and then IP will be a uh, offset of twelve. Understand? Yeah. So. It will take uh, six uh, five three seven six 
0 instead of 12. Understand? So, right click. So, this will take 5, 3, 7, 6, and 12. Understood? Is that clear? Yes, sir. Okay. So now, if we if we write this statement in the form of like this, say i is equals to one, and I can write this statement, say i p is equals to i p plus uh, two into i. Then what will be the uh, value of i? Sir, five three seven six zero eight. Five three seven six zero and eight. Because we we compute this uh, two into i, and now becomes a offset of two, and then two offset of two is accumulated with the integer point. Okay, understand? So, yes. the right hand side, the right hand side of it, operator is basically an integer the left hand side operator is operand is basically a pointer and then we can apply this offset operation similarly there is a similar implication if we have a uh, minus so minus is also an offset operation but it uh, it goes in the opposite direction understand okay okay that's fine and now uh, let i assign these things with uh, sorry uh, okay. that is fine so now there is a question simple question that I have the definition for plus and minus do I have the definition for minus division or modulo operation so uh, like there is an IP into the, we have uh, two is this operation is valid no sir this operation is not valid because we don't have a, a semantic uh, definition for multiplying to address. Yeah, the definition for plus is basically an offset towards positive. Negation is an offset towards negative. But we don't have any semantic uh, definition for multiplying a pointer by two. It doesn't have any meaning or we don't have any sense of that operation. Understood? So these operations the, is not applicable in the pointer. We don't have multiplication or division, uh, we cannot multiply two pointers, pointer one into pointer two. So it does not have any uh, semantic uh, meaning. Okay. So these operations are not applicable or they are not uh, valid in the pointers. Get it? Similarly, if we consider that whether we have a equals to or get that or less than Conditional operation. Are they valid? Say this type of operation. Are they valid? Yes, sir. Yes, these operations are valid. Sometimes we want to check whether, uh, whether uh, say I have two pointers. Say let I have. Uh, perform these things. Say this one is array. Now I have uh, say I have performed IP plus two. Yeah. Time to check whether this IP is equals to array or not. Okay. So what is the meaning of this? If IP is equals to array, what is the meaning of this thing? What I am trying to uh, uh, try to express. So, meaning are the two base addresses equal or not of the pointer and the base uh, address of uh, the array? Okay, yes. So, this is the base address. Clear. Yeah, this is not a base address. I want to check whether IP is pointing to the base address of the array or not. Understand? So, it checks is IP pointing the base address of array. Understand? Clear? Is that is that clear? 
equals to operation is valid okay so if i write a statement like there is a pointer let us say it is a pointer i wants to uh, verify or i wants to equate the whether the left hand side uh, pointer is equals to the right hand side address or not okay so this is a pointer and this is an address and i am trying to uh, make a equalization of these things and i am checking that whether two addresses are same understand so what is the meaning of this statement means when when should i write this type of statement we should write this type of statement to verify that whether my pointer is pointing to the base address of the array i i want to check that my pointer is pointing to the base address of the array then i have to write this type of statement is there clear yeah? understand yes sir so in this sir, case as sir, uh, sir sir here uh, these are the conditional operations and these are applied to the values like whether one value is equal to or the other value sir but okay. these are addresses sir so how this addresses are been equalized like it is not integer or something no addresses means addresses is basically it contains some value means when i refer any data type say data type at the right hand side of your op assignment operation clear yeah. so that means i am not referring the type i am basically referring the value of that type understand clear yeah. so say integer a so if i write a at the right hand side of any assignment operation that what i am saying i am not i am not taking the variable or its type i am not characterized characterize the uh, element by its type i am characterizing the element by the value of a yeah understand so in this case ip when i refer this ip with the operator it basically it, it basically extract the value of ip and then it also extract the value of this array and try to make a uh, comparison whether the two values are same or not understand Yes, sir. Then if value is there, sir, then into divide and modulus should also be like uh, no. Uh, the value operation the no, operation depends on the data type. Means when we are performing the operation, then this operation depends on this data type. Like say say this equals to operation. I can perform these things on integer. Integer. Say this equals to operation. I can perform on character. character so when i take a uh, say variable like a and apply this operator then depending on this variable this operation characterizes itself that i am performing a uh, equal equal uh, means equal to operation on integers okay yeah. when i am writing say c then depending on this type the operator characterizes itself that i am performing equal to operations on the uh, characters clear yeah. then like pointer say if i have pointer equals to pointer then depending on the first argument means when it reaches the first argument then it characterizes itself that okay i am now going to compare the two pointers understand get it Do you get this point? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. okay, sir. So, so when we read, means I am reading a statement. I am reading a C program like this. If a equals to b, so I am reading these things something like this. Okay, there is a if, so I have to evaluate a comparison or I have to evaluate a conditional operation. Then it comes inside. Then it finds that there is a variable a. It evaluates its type. then it understand the way. okay i am going to make a comparison between type of integers or type of characters and then it operates clear 
Okay. Yes, sir. And you also do these things. Sometimes you write, say, two point half means I am writing half is equals to point five. Clear. Yeah. Understand? So what you are doing in the in your mind? In your mind, you are doing that. Okay, I have to compare two values. The left hand side is a fraction. The right hand side is a decimal. And you have your mind. You have to convert the fraction into decimal or the decimal into factor. Then you equate. So. Uh, when I am as a human is performing an operation, I also uh, think in that way. Okay, this is the operation. Now let's check whether what types of data we are having. Is it a fraction? It is a integer, or it may be a string. Say I want to say that there is a string j y p. Whether this is equals to the string p. So if I as you are human, if you want to you verify, means if you want to compare the things, then you also have a different uh, procedure in your mind. It is not like how, how I am doing the comparison here. I have a different procedure to compare the part. Understand? So compiler also does the same things, but there is a limited capacity. Compiler cannot do what a human can do. It is a, it is having a limited capacity that is uh, defined by its type. Sir, one question. Sir, yes. in the previous uh, previous slide, sir, okay. previous place, page. Sir, yes, here sir. you have written int ip equal to array then a uh, uh, semicolon, right? No, not semi. This one. It's int ip equal to int ip equal to array semicolon. Ah, semicolon, semicolon. And sir, uh, here you do not have to put the asterisk one. No, as semicolon asterisk means. I am pointing to the element and uh, this returns the base address means like if I write asterisk array that means I am referring to the element 3 I am not referring to the address of the uh, 3 okay no sir uh, in previous examples you uh, declared the pointer variable like int asterisk ip oh that's right yes here we have to do yes. okay okay sir oh. Sir, suppose we do not put the asterisk, then uh, what will IP store? I feel uh, I feel consider as an integer. It will not consider as an integer to a pointer. It okay. Okay. Understand? Okay, there was a mistake. Like so, uh, in that case, IP will contain uh, the integer value of five three uh, that uh, address. No, there is an error. So there will be a. Uh, this statement will be an error error statement. And the compiler will give you an error. Understand? If I write these things, you'll find that compiler compiles to an error. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay. So that so uh, so we find that yes. Uh, so apart from so, only the arithmetic so the operation so only we have plus and minus as an arithmetic operation then all condition operations are valid operations are valid Similarly, uh, with the same argument, all uh, logic operations are also valid. Uh, valid. Okay. Like whether uh, and or uh, something like this. Yes. Like uh, integer, sorry, IP equals to array. Or, or and say IP not equals to null. So these and operations are also uh, applicable in this part. So only we have the restriction that in the arithmetic we don't have a complete set of uh, operations. We only have the plus and the negation, uh, plus and the minus, which which are treated as an offset operation. 
Okay. Understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Now moving forward. Uh, so this example we already have discussed. Okay. Now, now there is a recursive part, of, or there is a uh, there is a definitions of pointer to an uh, data type, uh, primitive data type, and pointer to a pointer, and also pointers to pointer to pointers. So this uh, the meaning is if something like this. Uh, you have a hierarchies of these definitions. Say, firstly we have a primitive data type. data type say like integer character uh, float etc then we have pointers to this type okay which looks like something integer star ip or character star cp something like this then we have this is called the pointer to pointer of type or primitive type. type. It looks something integer star star IP. The meaning is something like this. Say in my memory, I have an integer. And it looks something like this integer a. Okay. Then I have integer pointer. It defines by integer star ip. And this ip is pointing to the base address of this integer. Now I can also have pointer to pointer, which looks something integer star star ip so what it will point does it points to the integer or does it points to the integer pointer so what what is the meaning of this thing shall it points to this base points to the sir uh, the pointer variable of the second uh, second one uh, will be same to the first one or will it be different or uh, i will be I, I can write okay. double P. Okay. Now, now does I double P points to the integer or it is pointing to the IP? Sir, integer. No. Sir, IP. IP. It is basically says it is a pointer which is holding an address of an another point. Understand? So this definition basically says uh, a pointer. storing the address of another point. Understood? So, so this element or the uh, this content is basically pointing to a element which again points to some another element. Understand? So there is a uh, something, uh, uh, what I can say, there is something, a uh, link, say I am pointing to something that will point to something. And finally, uh, there is a primitive data type at the, at the end of this chain. Okay. So this cascade of pointer definitions can run for any, any level. So in this case, I have integer pointer, then this also, this statement is also valid, where I am saying that IPP is basically pointing a uh, element which is again points to an integer. Similarly, I triple star IP is uh, defined in the same way. So triple IP is pointing to a pointer uh, address and this pointer is pointing to another pointer and then it points to the element 10. Okay. Understood. Get it? Hello. Okay. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. 
And how the dereferencing is happening? The dereferencing also happens in a cascade way. So what is the, how can I assign the address of 10 to the IP? So this is the statement. I am dereferencing, uh, I, am, uh, I am assigning the address of I to the pointer I. Okay. Similarly, how can I assign the uh, base address of this IP to I double P? So this is, how can I do these things? We have a, a person of person of IP that is basically returns the uh, base address where the IP is stored. So ampersand IP is basically returns the base address where the IP is stored. And then it returns, uh, it assigns to the I double P. And in this way, I can I can make a uh, dereferencing operations or the referencing operations, understood? Okay. Now there is an interesting point to note that, uh, okay. So I'm just taking a simple example. Say I have the definition, integer, say A, let it be assigned with 10. Then I have integer star IP, and it is the I am percent of A. And I also have integer star star of I, which is assigned the IP. So these two are the pointer types of variable. So I can simply apply IP equals to IP plus one. And if the base address, if this base address is five, three, seven, say zero, 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 then as we already learned, what is the value of this IP? Will be a offset of one. So it should be Five three seven zero zero four. Clear? It is clear. Yes. Sir. So now, in this case, IPP. If I apply the offset plus one, then what will be the signal? That means I have integer which is A, now this is integer pointer, where 5, 3, 7, 0, 0, 0 is stored, and it means this one is pointing to the base address of A. And if I do a addition operation, then it goes to the next address, so 5, 3, 7, 0, 0, 4, it is fine. But if I have integer star star and say and say it is holding say three seven six zero zero, that means it is pointing to the base address of here. And if I perform a offset operation, then what will what will happen? It will, in the same logic, point to the next base address. Yeah, as as IP IP plus plus is pointing to the next next address, similar or next uh, element address. So this is also integer. Then what is the offset of plus one on the IP plus plus? It will also points to the next next uh, address. Okay. Yeah. So what is this next address? How many offset? How much offset shall we shall we move? Do you have any idea? Sir, eight byte. Uh, yes. So this is basically uh, eight bytes. So why eight bytes? Because the address is address are basically eight bytes. Okay. In C. In the uh, present uh, compilers, we will have the address which are eight bytes. Yeah, eight bytes means how much? Two to the power uh, eight bytes means two fifty six. Yes. Yeah. So there are two fifty six bits for storing uh, address. Understand? Okay. Yeah. Uh, eight bytes. No, it is more than that. I think. Uh, 8 into 8, 64 bytes. 
64 clicks. Okay. 64 bits is for the uh, for the present scenario. Okay. So you so when you are going for a specification of a computer, you will find that there are 32 bits computer, there are 64 bits computer. Okay. You will uh, you encounter these things very often when you download some software. It asks whether you, it is a 32 bits machine or a 64 bit machine. So presently, all the computers are basically a 64 bit machine, and the address are basically uh, characterized by these eight bytes. So presently, all the computers are basically having eight bytes of uh, address. So making an offset over the uh, address means pointer to a pointer is basically an eight byte offset. Yeah. So this Sir, operation. Does the 32 bit or 64 bit operating system refer to the address? Means 32 bit operating system will have four bytes of address. Does that mean that? No, it is basically the register size we are having here. Yeah. So there are there are 64 bits registered and there are six 32 bits registered. So uh, and there is also an address bus. So address bus is basically uh, the previous machines are having 32 bits of address bus. Now we are having 64 bit address bus. Understand? So there are two uh, two way to carry, to uh, understand that whether the register size. Uh, are uh, 32 bits or 64 bits, or the address bus are 32 bits or 64 bits. So presently, the Intel they are manufacturing they are they are manufacturing the uh, machines which are having 64 bits address bus. Okay, and and that that uh, signifies that we are having uh, 64 bits of machine. Okay, understand? Get it? Yes, sir. <laughs> mm, uh, there are many uh, things. Means we have two cores, four cores, etc. Et but uh, uh, okay, we'll leave it. We'll have in a different aspect of this part. <laughs> so presently, means if you run that, if you run uh, on the Turbo C machines, like some Turbo C compilers, you'll find that uh, it may be a 32-bit offset for the pointers to point. But if you run it with uh, with other, say GNU or something like this, you'll find that this offset changes to 64 bits. Okay. So understanding the uh, scenario is basically uh, if we have the offset operation is depends on the size of the data. Means when we are we are moving uh, for a primitive data type, then the offset is basically size of that primitive data type. When uh, we are moving over the Pointer types of data type. Then, irrespective of this, uh, they are basic, uh, basic, uh, basic uh, data. All the pointers are eight, eight, uh, eight bits. Uh, sorry, uh, eight bytes. Yeah. That means, if this, if we change these things to integer to character, something like this. This one is changed to character and character. Then, uh, this this operation will change. It will not be uh, 0, 4. Instead, it will be 0, 0, 1 because the character is size of 1. But this operation will not change. It will be offset of 8 bytes. Okay. Because the pointers always is a 8 byte, whether it is pointing to a integer, whether it is pointing to a character, uh, character or float. But pointers are basically the uh, pointer values are basically a 8 byte data. So if we move the offset over a pointer to a pointer, then that offset is basically a 8 byte. Do you get this point? Yes, sir. Okay. Or you can say that integer, I am just writing two examples. Character. So this is integer star. This is character star. Then I have integer star star and the character star star. So this offset is four. This offset is one. But when we are working to star star two pointers, this offset is eight. This is also eight. Even if we have another say float. Uh, 
float star float star star this offset is four this offset is eight okay. so so under this hierarchy means under if you move even uh, even in the downwards the offset is always eight bytes because the address is eight bytes irrespective of what types of data it is pointing the address is always a eight byte okay understand Ready? yes sir no. oh. yes sir oh acha so whatever we have discussed is basically stated here uh let me try to acha i have a program uh, okay i am showing this program and you can stop at this point yeah so uh, in this case i have a variable uh, and it stores the value of 10 and we have pointers which is pointing to the variable and then we have pointers to pointers which is pointing to the id pointer and we have another fall of uh, or another level of pointers to pointers to pointers in this okay and this is basically the uh, assignment that address of var is assigned to ip this address of ip is assigned to ipp in this way this assignment is done okay yeah. so the first printf statement says that i want to know that what is the size of a pointer here yeah. so this this is basically a size of is basically a operator which returns it is not a function size of don't consider these things as a function like main or uh, main or something like this size of basically size of is a operator which returns that what is the size of a particular data type so if i write a or var it will return the size of the integer if i write it then it will return the size of the pointers okay. so the first statement at the number 14 it prints the uh, size of an integer type uh, so size of a pointer type okay. understand and then there is a statement uh, what it says Okay. Then I have performed the uh, the value of IP and the increment of IP one. I have printed the value of I double P and the increment of IP P one. And also uh, in this way I have done. So first we run the program. It shows that the size of our address is eight bytes. Yeah, understand? Now. uh now this ip is having the value of something like this with the last two digit that is 72 the value of a pointer is basically uh, the last digit is last two digit is 72 then if we make a offset of one then it will be pointing to the next element next integer element so the offset will be incremented by 4 because the integer is a size of 4 bytes yeah so it becomes 76 understand Yes sir. Oh. yes sir yes sir now in the second part the ip i double p so ipp is having the value of 60 at the last two digit it is having the value of 60 now ipp1 what is the meaning of this things it is mean, it means that it will pointing to a address where a uh, integer where uh, it is pointing to a address and that address is points to something else i don't care where, which element it is pointing but it is pointing to a address so the offset is basically the size of a address and now it becomes a addition of 8 because the size of an address is 8 so i add uh, it is added to it 8 8 and it becomes 68 understand clear yeah. yes sir so ipp is not pointing to integers ipp is pointing to inti- uh, to address so the offset will be the size of the address so in this case it becomes addition of 8 similarly i double i triple p it is also pointing to a address understand it does not points to primitive the types then ipp uh, ipp having the value of 52 uh, at the end so in making a offset of i triple p is basically a addition of 8 because it is again uh, pointing to some address it does not points to other elements yeah and now we becomes 52 plus 8 it becomes 60 understand yeah 
David? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Okay. And similarly, the dereferencing also happens. So how we dereference? So uh, this is the uh, reference, uh, sorry, this is the uh, address, the variable, the address of variable is assigned to the IP. Similarly, the star IP, it basically dereferences the element. So star IP, it points, it, it is re returning the value of date. Similarly, this is basically a, a double dereferencing. The meaning is something like this, IP, IPP star, it will refer to the IP, then another star will refer to the element. So I can read these things in this way. Uh, star IPP and star, we did this thing something like this. IPP. So this one will return IP and then this one will return the value. Understand? Yeah. So the, the double star is basically the first, the inner star, this inner star will return the IP and the outer star will return the uh, value. Similarly, here we, have, we are having the triple stars. So this one will return the I double P, this one will return the IP and this one will return the uh, value, value. Okay. Sir. Yes, sir. sir uh, here, while printing the, uh, the first set of three print statements, IP equal to percentage LD. LD. Sir, LD, if you use... LD is for the long decimal. Uh, long means I want to print these things as a long because generally, uh, we if we write a D, then it will truncate the value into four bytes. Understand? D is basically printing for integers and it is having a four bytes. Understand? So if I write D, then it will truncate the value to a 4 bytes. And long is basically capturing the 8 bytes of integer. So I, I use the specified LD. Okay. It actually depends. Actually, it is for the size of the memory. Nowadays, I mean, memory size is too large. That maximum address, the largest possible address, will not be able to accommodate within 8 bit, uh, 4 bit, 4 bytes. Four. So usually pointer, although it is an unsigned integer, it is given 8 bytes space. So now when you want to print any 8 byte data, you have to actually give this format specifier LD. Mm -hmm. For normal long. integer also, if you want to print a long integer, then also percent D will not sub be sufficient. You have to make it percent LD. That's all. In some some cases, in some books, you may find that uh, pointers are printed using percent %u uh, format specifier. That is unsigned integer. Now, what will happen there as Sar is pointing, it will actually truncate or, or it will basically print the last uh, eight digit. Okay. The, uh, I mean, the sig most significant eight digit may not be printed in that case. If you want to actually get the exact address, then you should use LD. That's all. In some book, you may find that percentage U is being used. Sir, okay. but one thing, sir, I have uh, written one some test program, hmm. but they are while using percent D also the same. Uh, uh, ah, because because what is happening? Most of them, the see, most significant part is not shown, but that is there. It is it is sufficient to note. As Sarah was trying to say that last two digit because it will be incremented by one or eight or four like that. So remaining part will remain same. You don't need to know what is there in the most significant part because there will be no change. Understand? No, uh, I am telling that uh, both by printing with uh, percent D and percent LD the same. Yeah, it will not give you any error. It will not give you any error. But it is it is customary that you should use percent U. Since it is actually pointers are stored as unsigned integer, okay, or as Sarah is showing, percent LD. You can use percent D, you will get the results uh, unless you hit the largest possible address, okay. Okay, so it is showing the same thing because it is not hitting the largest. Oh, yes, yes, not largest, and uh, since we are incrementing by one or two places, so whatever address you are initial base address from that if if you go ahead by 4 byte or 8 byte or 100 bytes so actually that reflection will not carry forward to most significant part of the integer understood it will be limited on the 
least significant portion. So there will be no change, no effect. Uh, Understood. Was that while printing with percent D also and percent LD also the same address is being printed? So I was asking. No, uh, yeah, yeah maybe maybe there are all 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 significant bits are zero. Whatever address now uh, uh, operating system has given. Because you are not using many things, you are not using the whole memory. Okay, so you are lucky since you are using a small portion of the memory. Maybe maybe operating system is concentrated on the lower side of the address. Understood? Okay, sir. That's hmm. why it is showing uh, same for both. Yes. Yeah, as I have said, I mean it is not truncating from the end. It is truncating from the beginning. That will be most significant part. You are not bothered about the whatever is there. It will, it will remain same. Even if it is not all zero, so suppose it is all one. If it is missed, nothing will affect us because we are not going to assign any address. We don't have that capacity. We want to just know that what is the address given by the operating system. So only looking at the least significant four byte will be sufficient for us. In most of the cases, understood. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, yes. Okay, so that's all for today. Means what we have uh, learned is basically the operations on the integer, uh, the operations on the pointers, and we have the definition of uh, pointers to pointers, and we also understand that how the operations are applicable on the pointers to pointers. Understood. So in our next class, uh, there is an another small part which is left out. We'll discuss these things when we have uh, prefix and the postfix operation uh, occur with the pointers. Understand? So that we'll discuss in our next class. Okay. So any doubt? You have any doubt? No, sir. Oh. Yes, yes. Okay, so so we conclude for the for today's class. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Sir, I think the recording is uh, not stopped. There she said. Thank you, sir. Yeah, Jaydeep, could you please stop uh, the recording? Sir has left the meeting. Oh, already left. <laughs> then I can't do anything because he is the host. He can only. So sir, yeah, uh, you can uh, you can ask him to rejoin. And yeah, I am calling calling him. No problem. Thank you, thank you. I am calling. No problem.